Mike Pence's incredible journey to curry favor with Trumpers but now, eight months later, Pence is indignant about how much coverage media is giving the people who came for him at the Capitol and suggested that the goal of the coverage is to tarnish the reputations of the millions of people supporting Trump. As for the former president, adds Pence, we parted amicably. In fact, he says they have spoken at least a dozen times since their administration ended with Biden swearing in on January 20th. Pence is behaving like the middle school kid intimidated by a bully's lunch money protection racket. Fearful of fighting back, he instead brings a little extra money for the gang every day and says the head bully is really his good buddy, Pence offered his sunny view of Trump and his supporters in an interview with Sean Hannity of Fox News and on the Ruthless podcast. It was broadcast after Trump who seemed certain to seek a return to the Oval Office in 2024, was beginning to talk tough about potential primary opponents. In an interview with Yahoo News, he warned Florida Governor Ron DeSantis about challenging him for the 2024 nomination. If I faced him, I'd beat him like I would beat everyone else, said Trump. Everyone else seems to include Pence, who, as he travels from one primary state to another, shows every sign of making a serious bid for the presidency himself. He has a new political organization, aided by a panel of big-name advisors, and he recently convened a retreat for donors in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. According to Axios, he is aiming to raise $18 million by year's end. Add the work Pence is doing to help follow Republicans across the country and he's obviously trying to make his long-held dreams of the presidency come true. I know the media wants to distract from the Biden administration's failed agenda by focusing on one day in January," said Pence. They want to use that one day to try and demean the character and intentions of 74 million Americans who believed we could be strong again and prosperous again and supported our administration in 2016 and 2020. Pence has a long and often cringeworthy record of devotion. As conservative columnist George Will noted in 2018, his stomach-turning sycophancy made him America's most repulsive political figure. But toadyism is what saved Pence from political oblivion when he was a middling governor of a state, Indiana, that rarely sees the national spotlight. A conservative Christian who is conspicuous about mixing politics and religion, Pence nevertheless found ways to support the profane, twice-divorced Trump. Like the frightened middle schooler who appeases a bully, he found safety in knuckling under as the world watched. As he returns to this strategy, we might judge Pence's chances by putting ourselves back in a middle school frame of mind. As I recall, I felt sorry for the kid who grottled, but I never respected him. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.